In the last video, we left Bogota, flew to Medellin, Colombia, made a mistake of not knowing the address of where we stayed at and trying to maneuver our way back. Today, we check out a castle, get in the streets with the locals, and taste what Medellin has to offer. It's a castle museum that we're gonna go and take a look at today and whatever else is around. So we want you guys to come with us today. So come on. <laughs> <laughs> you got me at castle. <laughs> It really is. And I, just, I just can't imagine once upon a time somebody used to be able to just live on this and call it their own. And this is lovely. Like, I mean, wow. Look at all of this. Of all this land and beautiful trees. Yeah. Right in the middle of the city. But the only sad part is y'all can't come in with us. I'm going to try to sneak some in for y'all. Don't worry, though. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, at least we want to show you the outside before we got inside. But I'm excited. Yeah. Get out the house. This one's knocked out. Here she is. She played a lot inside the house before we left. But yeah, it's so lovely. It's a nice view. I mean, it's very cloudy, so it's kind of hard to see the view today. Mm -hmm. But it's lovely. I mean, we've been having some just cloudy days since we've been I out know. here. I mean, it has just been like whenever we first came out here to Columbia. The it was it was piece, actually yeah. amazing, but we didn't take advantage and realizing how much of when it gets cloudy, it gets cloudy. Yeah, and it stays like that. It seems like. So. But the weather's nice. Yeah, it's. Weather I don't complain snow. though. Exactly. <laughs> I don't complain that part. All right. The castle is very beautiful on the inside. It took them 11 years to build the castle. And they did this around, they started around 1930s. Yes, 1930s. So it took, it took them quite a, quite a while. And I see, they put a lot of detail into it, and that's pretty much why. Yeah. And um, they finished it, I think they said, based on the months or whatever, yeah. like 1942. Uh huh. The saddest thing, he was only able to live at this castle for eight months he was in france and loved seeing the castle so he wanted to, even though it's not a real castle he wanted mm -hmm. to look and feel like a castle exactly. thank god we found so yes. someone who spoke english yes. who was able to give us the history of it yes, without her we wouldn't know anything it's really good it's a non-profit kind of yes. kind and of like, like the family yes and like some of the family members that are still you know alive they're like still involved into taking care of this place you know yeah that's pretty cool too you know to know yeah the love of the family and then this of course tragedy yeah because they said that the community really loved them because they always gave back yeah you know and even still tell this day you know, this is a non-profit organization that's to why this day. Till this day to this day yeah, that's why i did not get any footage on the inside at first i was but once i found a little bit more about the history and i was like i ain't gonna do that and, and even and even you kind of understand why most places say no footage so it can inspire others to want to go see it themselves because mm -hmm. if we show it no one's gonna want to come see it and you know mm -hmm. and you're coming and you paying the little bit that you pay just at the entrance fee yeah. it's helping maintain all of this exactly. and it's phenomenal work yes, it how is. they're upkeeping it because it looks amazing yes it is so true okay, so right now it's raining Oh, yeah. And we're just sitting up under the little shade waiting for the rain to slack up before we, I guess, go get a ride back home. Or...
That's the Arriba Chocolo. What you think? It's really good. The bread, it reminds me of my cornbread at home, but this is way good. Oh, cornbread? It tastes like it, but it's, but it's not, of course. So you like it? I like it a lot. If you go down um, Kaye 10, they have a whole strip of just random things. The restaurants, confetti, the gym, pharmacy, whatever it is. And it's a nice street. You could just walk, get your street food that way, and then you see what you gotta see. Well, I made a pizza spot. Well, these spiders, I can't actually, it's not happening. He usually does not up like this. At least not in public. At home, yes. In public, no. Maybe that was that was the whole tent. Yeah, it's a nice ambiance. We're gonna have some pizza. It's a nice trip. <laughs>